Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Sam's Budgeting Corner. Thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome to my new subscribers and also my returning subscribers. I appreciate you all for your love and support to this channel and it is more than appreciated. So guys, I am doing well and I hope that you too are doing well. So today I am going over my numbers to see how we did in the month of May as it relates to my saving challenges and my sinking funds. I don't think this video will be a super long one, so let's get right into it. Um, you may hear thunder rolling in the background. I believe we are under a thunderstorm watch, so um, I do apologize for the sound in the background. All right guys, so let's get started. And as usual, we will start off with our saving challenges to see how we did in the month of May. And for those who are new, I got these from Real Budgets. I will place her link in my description box so you can go and check her channel out. All right, so we're gonna flip over to May. So we're at May. And we are going to go through the numbers so as mentioned I'm starting off with our saving challenges so let's go all right guys so for my um, HOA and I usually I do a scratch off for that one so for the month of May we save $20 and our year to date is 20 uh, for our board game which is a bingo game and I think this goes to car maintenance. Um, we saved $20 and year to date 20. The mini savings um, challenge, that's from my mini saving challenge book, which goes to car registration. We saved $20 and our year to date is, year to date is 20. So guys, the reason why these three has have the red asterisk is because at the end of at the end of the month whatever I save in these three challenges are transferred to my sinking funds okay so next is our emergency fund and we do a scratch off mystery scratch off for this one so for the month of May that was that was thirty dollars and our year to date is 145 then for our no spend that's also another scratch off we saved $10 in May and, and that brings our total to $105. Our B savings, this is a new challenge that I started in the month of May, which is going towards an appreciation gift. Our savings to date is $40 and year to date $40. Next is our Christmas, which is done through my apps. Um, so I do a number of apps that I get points from when I scan receipts and when I play games. So for the month of May, that was a total of $45 that I earned. And then that brings us to a year to date of $173. Then for bonus savings, uh, so this happens whenever I have extra money left over from my saving challenges. I put it towards bonus savings. So I started this one in this month, in the month of May. So we have saved $15 with a year to date of $15. And the last one is our mini savings binder. So for the month of May, also this one was started in May. We save $80 and our year to date is $80. All right, so our total guys is, so for the month of May, I saved a total of $280 for saving challenges and it brings us to a year to date of $618. So now uh, let's go to the transfer. So remember I said that these three with the asterisk, um, these monies are transferred into my sinking funds at the end of the month. So we transferred a total of $60 to our sinking funds um, from these three challenges. So then guys, we are left with $220 that was 
saved for the month of May and that brings our year to date to $558. So that is what we have saved so far in terms of our saving challenges. Remember there's another challenge that I do which is my 65 envelope challenge. I do not track it here. Um, so you will know how much I save in total towards the end of the year when I have completed that challenge. All right, so we are going to update our savings tracker with $220 because that is what we saved in the month of May. So we're just doing it right here. So $220. Okay, so that's our saving challenges amount for May. So now guys, we are going to flip over to our sinking funds to see how we did. All right, so before I show you the numbers for my sinking funds, I just want to mention here that I did some spendings from some of my binders in the month of May. So on screen is a summary of the withdrawals or spending that I did from the, from the various binders. Uh, yeah, I think it's from the binders. If it's not from the binders, then it's from the envelopes. So on screen, you will see that summary. So what I will be sharing with you now is after those withdrawals. Okay, so let's get into it. So for our Sam binder, for the month of May, we saved $105 and that brings us to $1,150 year to date. Our next binder is our home and auto binder and for May we saved $230 and that brought us to $2,104 um, year to date. Then we have our one month binder. We saved $10 so I didn't put a lot of money towards my one month binder for the month of May so that's why it's just showing $10. And our year to date is $810. Then our last binder is our family game binder. For the month of May, we saved $76. And year to date, we are at $182. So guys, for the month of May, this is our savings. So for the month of May, we we saved $421 and then our year to date is $4,246. So that's the year to date in our sinking fund binders combined all together. All right, guys. So I've shared with you what we saved for our saving challenges for me as well as our sinking funds for me. So here I'm going to show you the total that we saved for the month of May. All right, guys. So for the month of May, between our savings and sinking funds, that was a total of $622 that I saved towards these funds and saving challenges. And that brings our overall total to $4,804. So that is where our total sinking funds and savings are standing as at the end of May. So I'm very grateful for that. And, you know, I'm always thankful um, for what we have accomplished for the month of May. Now, I'm just going to um, somewhat caution you for the month of June because we're going to do some... Um, large withdrawals in June because our property tax is due in June so this balance is going to be way less than this so just so you know all right guys so I believe that is everything for this video and my next video will be coming out on Monday and that's where I will be cash stuffing our first paycheck for the month of June so guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't yet subscribed please go ahead and do so and remember to click that notification bell please have yourself a wonderful weekend and i will see you on monday 
Bye.